The RTX 30 series GPUs are based on NVIDIA's latest Ampere architecture, which uses AI to accelerate the processing power and performance. These 7 nanometer chips have undergone Tensor and RTX Core upgrades to provide you with the best graphics performance ever created. The 30 series cards are packing some aesthetic upgrades to feast the enthusiast while also serving as a remarkable cooling solution. Changes have also been made in the maximum power output where these cards can deliver 92 watts compared to the previous gen's 88 watts. Above all, with the release of the RTX 30 series, 4K gaming is getting mainstream to enjoy the next-gen games at their maximum glory. Techfluencer delivers a complete buying guide for tech enthusiasts. Here, we try our best to make you pick the best PC components, laptops, and other tech gadgets with brief technical information, pros and cons, ratings, and recommendations. Our tech expert team tests, reviews, and benchmarks thousands of products to come up with the list of the best and latest products, along with recommendations for the viewers. To know what is the best choice for you, watch the full video and check the description for the purchase links. Right now, the 30 series is packing four graphics cards in their lineup that includes the RTX 3060 Ti, RTX 3070, 3080, and the 3090. Let's go through them one by one to figure out which one might suit you the best. The lineup starts with the RTX 3060 Ti, an affordable edition of the RTX 30 series that streamlines outstanding ray tracing and DLSS performance for gaming. Now in comparison with the 3070, the 3060 Ti delivers almost the same gaming performance at a $100 discounted price range. The FPS difference among these cards are quite narrow in games like GTA V and Overwatch where you will find a slight increase or decrease of 10 FPS. Another reason why you should consider this card above the 3070 variant is the same memory interface width of 256 bit. Same memory width refers to same graphical performance and with less price tag, the 3060 Ti is definitely a smart choice. Surprisingly, this card is throwing a hell of a competition with AMD's latest release as well. It is providing almost the same level of performance as the RX 6800 card at a price difference of $180. According to Tech Radar, the 3060 Ti is only 0.6% slower than the RX 6800. If you want to leap into the next-gen gaming without spending a fortune on it, the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is the one you should go for. Next on the line, we have the RTX 3070, a reliable card with promising 1440p gaming potential that you can get to future-proof your gaming PC. The RTX 3070 is a remarkable combination of price and performance that can be just the thing you need for 1440p gaming. It lets you save up $200 while gaining you more performance compared to the previous generation RTX 2080 and even the 2080 Ti cards. Furthermore, this card is utilizing NVIDIA's ray tracing and DLSS technology to provide you with comparably higher frames per second in 1440p resolution without sacrificing image quality. Better performance sure does require greater power and the RTX 3070 will do about right with just 20 watts more than the 3060 Ti. Having a 650 watt PSU will be enough for you to power this beast up as well as the rest of your components. If you are willing to bring up your budget count to get that extra bit of 1440p gaming performance, then we recommend the GeForce RTX 3070 for you. Now this is where things get hasty with the RTX 3080, a monstrous card with performance-intensive features that has potential for 4K gaming and immense productivity as well. A couple of years earlier, when Nvidia released their RTX 2080 GPU, it had a price tag of $699, which delivered 4,352 CUDA cores and 8GB of video memory. And now, in the same price tag, you can almost get double the performance from 3080 with 8,704 CUDA cores and 10GB of GDDR6 VRAM. The extra VRAM makes it an ideal card for 3D rendering and video production apart for gaming usage. 
It also helps to run applications side by side so that you don't often have to switch between windows to see what's happening with your models. What's more, it can support up to four monitors which are a game changer when it comes to productivity to give multiple screens to work with. Apart from that, the RTX 3080 is a powerful GPU that is setting a benchmark for 4K gaming as well as productivity that you should consider for your next upgrade. And finally, we have the RTX 3090, NVIDIA's big ferocious GPU as they are calling it, which is currently the most powerful GPU that they have ever created. When it comes to professional use, the huge memory size of 24GB makes 3D rendering and animating tasks quite easy in softwares like Blender and Maya and saves up much of your time in comparison. The RTX 3090 is up to 19.7% faster from the 3080 according to Video Card's benchmark test. As for this GPU's video rendering capability, Puget Bench has paired it with 64GB of DDR4 RAM and AMD Thread Reaper 3970X 32-core processor that produced Premier Pro benchmark score of 81.5 on 4K heavy GPU effects which is quite astonishing and comparably faster than the 3080. This thing can run plenty of AAA titles in 8K resolution at up to 60fps including Death Stranding and Doom Eternal. If you look into MKBHD and Linus Tech Tip, initial impression of 8K gaming of this card, it can deliver utmost 60fps. If you want the best of both worlds including 8K gaming and intense rendering, the GeForce RTX 3090 is without a doubt the best graphics card that you can get only if you have the luxury to pay the heavy price. To sum things up, the RTX 30 series is a huge leap towards graphics improvement along with remarkable performance that will suit people of different preferences. You can get the 3060 Ti if you are a mid-range gamer and want to try what Nvidia has to offer without spending too much. If you want to play it safe, going along with the 3070 is a smart option. And if performance is what you demand and you don't want to let price get in the way, getting the 3080 or 3090 should be your top priority. So that was all about the RTX 30 series. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.